Finally, guys, I have a video for you for anyone who is interested to scull. I have had this request for the longest time. And finally, I am doing this video for the scalpers. If you are scalper, first of all, comment and say thank you, Esther, for doing this video. And if at all you want to try the scalping, but then this is a strategy that is so easy. It's very easy. And I will be doing more uh, tests with it with live trades. You know, I've come to realize I have so many strategies, so many strategies because it's the Holy Spirit who gives me this wisdom. And you cannot limit the Holy Spirit. You cannot tell him that it is enough. Don't teach me. He keeps teaching me every single day. And what I'm about to teach you, you can only test it by yourself to verify it. For me, I've seen it is working. So for you, I want you to go on your charts and verify, okay? So this is a scalping strategy that we require two time frames. So we will use four hours time frame and five minutes time frame. You can imagine we I have given you a video using five minutes time frame. So this is a very, very profitable strategy. If you start testing it and trying it out, you will be, you will make, you'll have results to show. So first of all, we have rules on this strategy. Um, I, like I have said, we will use, uh, let me, let me set the rules first before we, we, we learn. So these are the rules, the rules. So it requires two time frames. So time frame one is the four hour, the four hour. And then time frame two is the five minutes. So we have uh, two time frames. And then what we are looking on for our, we are looking for a specific candle pattern, candle pattern that we call it a hammer. So we are looking for a hammer on four hour. Uh, there's no specification, but at least a hammer, which is red. Let me be clear. It should be red. For those people who are watching my for the first time and they don't know what is a hammer, a hammer is a market uh, that has been rejected. Sellers have been rejected, leaving a week below. So this candle once, there was a time it was a full red candle. But because maybe it has hit a zone, so the candle, let me start with the red, the, the red one. So what happens is that when the market opens, it starts to go down. So the first candle illustrate how the market moves. If they find an area here, if they find an area here and they bounce back, this bouncing back, it's the one that exposes the week. So initially the candle was looking like this, but at the end of the close, the candle comes, comes up. So this, is, this candle has not yet closed. This candle that has formed a hammer has closed. So the, what we are looking for this strategy, we want to use the four hour time frame, and we'll be looking for this red candle. Now, when we go to five minutes, what are we going to look on five minutes? We are going to look for a bullish engulf, bullish engulf. So you see, for you to master this strategy, you need to know what is a bullish engulf and how does it look like? So a bullish engulf is when sellers were coming down and then because of hitting that area, hitting that area, specific area of a support and we get a rejection. So that rejection is the one that gives us a bullish engulf. It means the green, the buyers, the green candle has overshadowed the red candle. So this bullish engulf I've come to realize is very, very strong in the market more so if you know how to use it is very very strong so when we are using this uh when we are using this uh bullish angle we are using for entry so the hammer we use it for trigger it's the one that trigger for us to start looking for the bullish angle so this one triggers gets we get our trigger on four hour and we use the hammer and then the bullish engulf on five minutes. So when we go to five minutes, we are using this one for entry, okay? We are using this one for entry, five minutes. We are using it for entry. Entry. 
So you have the trigger, which is the 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 four the four hour hammer, and then you're using this for for entry. And it's the, like that. Imagine hammer entry. So let's try example one. So oh, the third the third rule is use it on JPY pairs because they are volatile. I've not shred it on JPY or gold. Use it on these two because they are volatile. So if you use this on lower time frame, uh, on the not volatile pairs, you may not get the same result. So I have really backtested it on JPY pairs. So I have not yet backtested it on gold. So I am thinking it can still do the same. Do it on JPY and gold and then target only 20 pips. 20 pips. So don't target 30. Target 20 pips. Okay. So don't target so many pips. So JPY or gold, because they are volatile or any other volatile pair that you know, then target 20 pips. Now let's go into four hours. Open any chart. And what you're looking for is the hammer. And you can see I have a hammer here. This is my hammer. And I have said the hammer should be in red in color. So if I squeeze my chart here, I would see this market is rejecting on a zone. So hammers are a result of market reje rejecting an area. So the idea of having a hammer and going looking for a buy, it is viable because this rejection means the market will buy and buying those 20 pips is small for the market. So what you need, once you see, so you have already noticed that the reason why we are thinking the market will buy because the, the this strategy is for buying. If this video hit 10,000 views, I will give you for selling. So this strategy is for buying. So we can see the reason why even we are thinking for buying, the reason for the hammer, the reason for rejection, uh, and the reason for looking for buying. So if I go to five minutes, if I go to five minutes, the only thing I need to see on five minutes is a bullish angle, guys. I just need to see a bullish angle. So what I do, for if I want, if this trade I have to exit, this is how I exit this trade. If a candle starts to break this level, because on five minutes, they have so many support area. I will not know which support to use, guys. I'm, I'm honest. I cannot tell you which one to use because five minutes data is too much. So now if we go to five minutes, let's observe a bullish angle. I want to observe a bullish angle. And immediately I have opened, immediately that candle closed and I went to five minutes. Guess what I found? I got a bullish angle. And that engulfing has engulfed, that engulfing has shadowed the red candle. Notice I want to trade this market 20 pips. Don't over target because once you start over targeting, that's where we go wrong. Don't over target. And then you have to be so quick with this because imagine after the candle closed, the next five minutes you have been given an entry. It doesn't need, this strategy doesn't need lazy people, guys. This is for scalpers. Scalpers, they know. So the market immediately, like uh, in, in 10 minutes, you had, you had your 20 pips. And you can imagine it's the close of the hammer. So that trade was so quick. And that is the first example. Let's try to look for another example where maybe the market did not, um, did not go quick either. It, it took some time. And all along, you need to understand, even if it takes us some time, you are learning and you will try it by yourself. So I want you guys to try this strategy by yourself. So you can see we have a hammer here. And this hammer is a result of a zone here. You can see this is a zone. And you see this is a zone. Anytime a hammer is created on a zone, it's a best chance to start looking for buy. So it's not like if you get a hammer and on your left there is no zone, maybe you go to lower time frame, like two hours, one hour, and most probably you will find a support that has been hidden. So hammer, they, are, they don't just come because they want to come. They come as a result of sellers being rejected. Once you see this hammer, just go to five minutes. Just go to five minutes, guys. Once you go to five minutes, I want you to start looking for uh, for the bullish angle. So here I have a green followed by red. So I will look for a bullish angle until I get it. So I'm not seeing a bullish angle. You can see instead of getting a bullish angle, I'm 
the market has started to go down. That's why I'm insisting for a bullish angle. So in such a trade, I have not yet entered because the criteria is to look for a bullish angle. This candle did not engulf. He, this green candle did not engulf the red. So I'm still searching for bullish anger. Now, I'm, when I have a red candle, I'm hoping to have a bullish anger. And you can see, yes, you have a momentum candle, but it did not bullish, it did not engulf. So at this point, you're even wondering what will happen. What if, if the market breaks this area, you are done. Don't look for the bullish anger. That strategy is gone like that. There's no opportunity for you. So that's how you avoid such a trade. So we are still here. You can see we do not have a bullish anger yet. And the other one, it was so quick immediately. So you are still waiting for bullish anger. We are still, still, we don't have. So here, this green candle did not engulf here. So we are thinking, will we ever have a bullish anger? We were almost having a bullish anger from the green candle, but we did not have. You can see the manipulation, what is happening in the market. You can see the manipulation. Uh, and after all that, the market still go down. So you, you are careful, not the market, if they break here, you are done. That uh, hammer, maybe it was a false hammer or something. So you continue to check. There are people who will call this bullish anger. This is not a bullish anger. So I'm trying to show you there are times that you will get a bullish anger so quickly. There are times you will have to wait. You will have to wait, guys. So you can see the market has has ranged. And finally, finally, after all, it's said and done. So uh, from eight to around, like let, let's say four, four good hours, and we have our bullish angle. This is what you have been looking for, for us to get the 20 pips. Imagine, imagine. So this is what we have been looking for, for us to get that 20 pips target. So once the bullish and gas come, we have to measure our 20 pips goal. And it's around there. So that is our 20 pips goal. So we'll come and do our long position like that. Remember for me, guys, I told you about support. This market can still come here. As long as it has not broken this area, you'll just know how to do with your support. So the market started to go up, go up, retest, and finally we hit the market. What, what do you think the market got the momentum from after this drop? Why did it get the momentum from? From the bullish and gulf guys. Let me do the last example. That was a good one. And still the market continued up. Now, this is the last example. I hope you guys, you will try this scalping strategy and you will make this video go to 10,000 views. How can you get this kind of information and keep it to yourself? How can you get such information and keep it to yourself? So I have the last one. Here I had a hammer. And if you have noticed, my hammers i'm doing i'm doing my hammers uh which are red in color i'm not i'm avoiding the hammers that are green now i didn't take this because of the green hammer i took it because of the red hammer and if we can see the reason why this market is rejecting is because it is under a zone so if i go to look for buy i am not i'm not like uh crazy because the market has rejected the first area. Now it has rejected again. So I will go to five minutes to start looking for that bullish angle, guys. So I am here on five minutes and I know for sure if the market goes past this low, I'm cooked, I'm done. I am not having any entry. So let's start looking for a bullish angle. So we have green candles. Don't mind uh, green candles. As long as you have not seen a bullish engulf happening, don't mind the green candles. So you can see we had a red candle, but the small green candle, it's not an engulf. So don't mind that. If at all you don't have a bullish engulf, don't mind. Now, 
this is it. We have a red, a small, like a doji, then an, an engulfing candle. Hey, if you get that, guys, you're ready to enter your 20 pips. You're ready to enter your 20 pips. So for the stop loss, that one you will have to discover or you come to my class and I'll teach you how to target. So this is it, guys. So let's see what happened after that. The market tempted to retrace, but it hit the take profit. The retracement was not that much pips. It was all, almost 14 pips, but the market went 20 pips in your favor. Guys, what else do you want? I have given you my secret. You see, I keep saying, oh, these are the secrets that I charge. And you people, you are still forcing me to tell you for free. The only thing you can do is to share this video in five Telegram groups. If you do that, a, even God will see that there's something you have given back, not just to watch. Imagine a thousand of you, you keep watching my videos and you have never shared. I'm challenging you. Why can't you copy, paste, copy, paste, copy and paste this link to those groups? Let them know how to scalp. Let them know what they are they have been going wrong let them understand that when they start making money they'll say but they you're the one who introduced me to esther more free and you you will feel proud of yourself because people don't want to tell people where to get information if you're if you're abroad and you're in different countries why can't you just copy this link and 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 paste it in at those international groups and people will see these videos let me tell you they will thank you later and that is something that's a gift that you have given them information knowledge knowledge is a gift so guys that is my my scalping strategy i'll start practicing it i have not done it on the other currency apart from jpy the reason is jpy is very volatile so 20 pips is faster on 5 minutes if you attempt out usd you will stay there before 20 pips hit so i will really suggest you try it on higher time frame if you're still if you're Found value on what I give for free. There's still an option to pay for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for international students that I charge fifteen hundred dollars. There's more to what I have in store. If you come to that one-on-one -on -one Zoom class, there there are slots for October, and every month I have opportunity. So whichever month that you're watching this video, always know that there is uh it is available. The slots are available. If you want to buy my recorded classes, it's a thousand dollars. If you want one strategy, it's a hundred dollars. If you want free content, stick on YouTube every 3 p.m. Kenyan time, and every day you will have a video from me. Either I'm encouraging you, I'm teaching you, I'm preaching to you, because I would not be here if it is not God, by the way. God has has enabled me to be able to interpret this knowledge. Sometimes I get whispers from the Holy Spirit. Like she, he, he really guides me on what to do. You know how the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is your guide. He's your counsel. He's your teacher. He's your mentor. For me, I have experienced it firsthand. That's why sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm torn in between. Do I tell them about this scalping strategy? And when the Holy Spirit says, okay, you can share because... You cannot limit me. I can give you so much wisdom. Can you imagine how much wisdom Solomon had? So there, they, they will reach a point where I will have so much knowledge that even if you watch me for free, you'll still make money. So all the best. I will. I always pray for my subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed and you watch me, by the way, if you just subscribe, why would you watch me and you have not subscribed? Start by subscribing. And another thing, once you subscribe, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to like the video and then you comment and then make sure you share. Why are you staying with this knowledge? Do you know even you can share with your family members, your cousins, you can start sharing these videos and tell them, listen to that. I, I keep telling you Forex is real. At least this person will help you to, to see the light. Yeah, so try, try, try. Anyway, guys, let me end, end there. I don't want to talk so much. This is one of the strategies that I'm just even laughing. You know, when you do these strategies and they work, you're even thinking, okay, so what you will do, um, what you will do, uh, I, 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 will, I, will, 
I don't want to give out the name of this strategy for the scalping because it is not for free. It is a paid, it's a paid content that I'm sharing it for free here. But once we you start making my videos hit 10,000 views, I will help you even with more strategies that are, are paid for paid students. Because at the end of the day, we are a community. We need to grow together. We need to build together. So I need to see what are you doing, not just viewing and leaving. You have to view and then you share the video and then you comment, you like, and then you practice the strategies. It's like that. At the end of the day, we all need each other. You need you need me. I need you. There is no one who is benefiting more. As if imagine if I teach this and no one is watching, I would have wasted my time. But because I know there are someone, there is someone out there who is watching me and they are appreciating. That's what keeps me motivated to post these videos. If there was no one watching me, I would not post. But because you are there, I will post. When you leave a good comment, it encourages me even to do more posting. So my my plea right now is you share. I know you have not been sharing on other Telegram groups. There are the Telegram groups that are free. They have thousands of subscribers, thousands of followers where you can share links. Share. Or you can even you can do a video on TikTok telling people about Esther more free lessons on YouTube. You can you can promote me for free. Anyway. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.